what do we do? We laugh at ourselves. I did a long essay comparing the blues and the haku. You know, um, the haku is something that gives you this this one great sight, uh, uh, um, you know, this image that is just unbelievable, right? And so you write it down, a sunset, the sun coming up, a white butterfly, you know, lighting on a tree, right? Or even the urban uh, haku, uh, uh, seeing gas leaking from a truck or seeing a, a, a black woman pulling her child, say, come on, come on, come on, I got to get to work, girl, I got to get to work, I'm late. Haku, urban haku, right? What's fascinating about that is that that haku will show you, give you that image, right? And when you no longer remember my words or my sound, my voice, you will remember what I wrote, whatever. And in the same way, what I wrote about that image, in the same way with the blues, the blues will give you, um, you know, this experience that happened, whatever, et cetera, right? But even when you are feeling good, you always remember that, that blues that talked about that. You know, my old man, he done left me. You know, I'm feeling also blue, whatever. Even when you're smiling, you remember. And that is what I call the connective tissues of, of the haku and, and the blues. It offers no solutions. There are no solutions with the blues. You know, it is just a re you know, represent. It is just like, I'm going to present you something that happened. Hey, you know, and sometimes you say, I'm still innocent, you know, even when you ain't innocent, you know, but here it is. So I would write um, a blues that said, um, I've been keeping company with the layaway man. I say, I've been keeping company with the layaway man. Each time we come by, we do it on the installment plan. That's the humor in it, but it's hard, too. Every Saturday night he come walking up to my door. I said, every Saturday night he come walking up to my door, empty pockets hanging on down to the floor. Going to get me a man who pays for it up front. I say, going to get me a man who pays for it up front because when I need it, can't wait till the middle of next month. I've been keeping company with the layaway man. I say, I've been keeping company with the layaway man. It's time to come by. We do it on the installment plan. But you know what is so important about the blues, I think, is that uh, you can... Uh, it can retain, make you laugh. You ever been in a night, nightclub and someone sings one of those, you know, like, I'm a big fat mama, you know what, I'm a big fat mama, you know, each time I shake, you know, shake the, these bones of this fat, you know, uh, uh, a skinny girl lose a home, you know, <laughs> you know, people <laughs> fall out laughing at that, you know, and that is, but that's indicative of the African. The reason why I really think we survived this enslavement is that we had patience and we could laugh. In the midst of what was happening to us, we laughed. We found laughter. We found laughter, you know. My dad told this joke about the first black airlines pilot in America. He said it happened at the end of World War II blues. He said people got on the airplane, only white folks flying at that time after World War uh, II, and the cockpit door was open. They looked in and saw a black man sitting at the controls, right? Blues, right? They sat down and started pushing that little bell. And they said, stewardess, stewardess, stewardess. And she came over, her name was Mary Jane. And she said, yes. And said, is that a Negro in the cockpit? Blues, right? And she said, oh, just a minute, uh, just a minute. I'll, 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 we'll, I'll, I'll have you talk to him. She goes, she said, Jack, 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 why you leave that door open? Jack, 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 why you leave that door open? People done seen you, you know, and they're ready to leave the plane, right? He said, calm down, Mary Jane. I'll go on the intercom, and I will talk to them. Blues. He says, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Jack Jones. I'm your pilot for this trip to L.A. But before we begin, let me tell you just a little bit about myself. Blues, right? I'm a graduate of Harvard University. I'm a graduate of Yale University. I'm a graduate of MIT. I'm a graduate of Oxford University, and during World War II, I taught all of the pilots how to fly. So if you would just settle down and calm down, I would see if I can get this big mother off the ground, you know. That's a blues. 